<clears throat> Shalom. Before I get started, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakha Kadash. Second, I want to get double honors to the apostles of the great millstone who rule well and teach well and who are the true leaders of Israel today. I also would like to give another shout out to the upcoming elder Akazak of the man of Israel camp down here in Greenville, South Carolina, whom my teacher funder. And I also like to give another shout out to you, Sister Akim, throughout the four corners of the earth, that's pushing his truth and our sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also like to give another shout out to you, uh, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion, coming back to our heritage in these last days. And also to you, if you outwalk, you sisters out there that stand in order and doing what y'all need to do in these last days. All right, to y'all, I'd like, like to say shalom. All right, and today, I'm going to go over a topic, basically going into not taking your foot off the plow, man. All right, because you got a lot of uh, uh, brothers out there that they took their foot off the plow, man. All right, we know you can't take your foot off the plow, man. Once you in this thing, you in it, man. It's like a gang, pretty much, man. You know, we, hey, man, we're prisoners for Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. You know, you can't just up and leave, man. All right, because you putting... Lord at up uh at, uh open shame, man. You know, that's a bad look, man, putting the Lord at open shame, man. You don't make this look like the truth. You don't look you don't make this look like this is a serious business we're doing. Cause you cause anybody think they could just uh join and just leave whenever and join whenever they want to join back. No. This ain't no other religion like Christianity. You can leave Christianity and come back. You can leave Islam and come back. You can leave uh, 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 commit it and come back. You can't do that with this truth, man. This truth is uh, highly serious, man. All right, and that's what clowns don't. That's what these clowns don't understand, man. This truth is serious, and there's nothing to be played about, man. So I'm basically uh, touch on. You shouldn't uh, 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 put your foot off in the plow, man. Right. So I want to open up with um, Luke chapter nine and verse sixty-two. All right, Luke chapter 9 and verse 62. And it says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. So you're not fit for the kingdom, man. If, you, if you're looking back and, and turning back from uh, going out to the plow, man, the plow is, is, is serious, man. And, 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 and you brothers should take that seriously, man, about going out to the plow, right? Because what did Yahweh Shah say? It uh, is uh, no man, and, and it's like it says, I'm going to read from the top. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and look it back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So you're not even fit for the kingdom, man, because you you basically a, a slothful servant. You're not a... You're not a, a, a helpful servant, man, to you how about she was shy, you know? And then it says, uh, and looking back, meaning you turned your back on the plow. Hey, the perfect example with Lot wife, what did she do? She looked back. And what happened to her ass? She died. Well, she got, you know, she got uh, a pillar of salt. You know, you can read about, I believe that story in Genesis. You can read, I believe it's in the, around the 19th verse i mean chapter around the 19 chapter i believe if i'm not mistaken but yeah what did she do she looked back you know matter of fact let's get that scripture that's in the um, book of luke too it's in the book of luke chapter 17 All right in verse 32 right here it says remember lot's wife you see so you turn it back and it's like you turn it back just like how uh lot wife uh turned back Right? Because you missed that place. The same with you niggas. You looking back to the world because you love this place, man. You know? We 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 not supposed to love this place, man. We hey man, we love going out to the highways and byways. We love doing this job because we truly believe, man. And we know it's a greater reward behind it, man. You know? So um I'm gonna go to the book of uh So like you yeah, bear with me one second. Okay, um, let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 
Okay, we'll start at verse 46. All right, and we'll read down to verse 47. Put my phone on mute. Luke chapter 12, verse 46. And it says, The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looking not for him. This for you clowns that love to plan that y'all could just come back whenever. Because you don't know when the Lord is going to come back. That's why it says the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looking not for him. Right? Because the Lord is going to come back like a thief in the night. So that's why you want to continue to go out to the plow, man. Because you don't know when the Lord is going to come back. You know, the Lord, hey, you think you could just come back into this truth before the Lord come back? You don't know. So why even play like that, man? You know? So it says the Lord of that servant, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looking not for him. You see, they're not going to be looking for Yahweh Shah to come back. And that's when Yahweh Shah going to come back. The, the, the day they not looking for him. Right? We, hey, we constantly on our watch, man. Because we know at any given moment, you know, Yahweh Shah can come back. Now we know that prophecy got to be fulfilled, and we and we understand that 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 is close by. But we still, even though we know prophecy got to come to pass, we still gonna be out there, man. Because the Lord could just say Elton prophecies and come back, you know. But well, we know more than likely that's not gonna happen. But I'm just saying, we, you, you never know, you know. But it says, um, it said the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. And at an hour when he is not aware, you see, and will cut him asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Verse 47, the point, it says, and that servant, because we are all servants for Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, right? It said, and that servant, which knew his Lord's will, meaning you knew the Lord will, you knew the consequences that was going to come with it. If you left the plow or if you wanted to keep leaving and going out, leaving and going out, you knew the consequences, right? It said in that, in that servant, which knew his Lord's will, right? You knew the Lord's will, man. You, and you still done wickedly, man, right? It said knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. You see, you didn't prepare yourself uh, to meet Yahweh Shah, man, because you was, you was BSing around, you know? It says, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will. You see? It says, neither did according to his will. And what is the will of Yahweh by Shiyah uh, Part of it is going out to the highways and byways. You see? <clears throat> it says, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many strikes. So you're going to be beaten with many strikes if you just take your hand off the plow, man, because you knew better. You knew, you knew, you knew the, you knew uh, the Lord's will, man. So you're going to be beaten with many strikes because you know better, you do better. That's like, for example, if me, let's say, for example, me and my brother, I got a little brother, right? And my mama told me to watch my brother, right? You know, I'm 21 years, well, about to be 21 years old, you know? And my little brother, he, he's seven years old, right? Now, my mama told me to watch my, well, I'm, I'm a grown ass man. She, she ain't going to beat me, but I'm just saying, <laughs> she might yell at me or, or whatnot, but beat me, nah. But let's say, for example, you know, I, I'm in the house and... My little brother, let's say, uh, what's a, what's a good example, man? Okay, good jump. Uh, let's say we caught the damn house on fire, right? Now my mama gonna be mad at my damn brother. Now she told me to watch my brother, right? She put me in charge because I'm the damn oldest. I know damn better. Now let's say if he burnt the damn house down, right? He burnt the house down. But who you think my mama gonna be mad at the most? Yes, yeah, she gonna be mad at my little brother. But she gonna be mad at me the most because I was supposed to be watching. I knew better. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be beaten with many stripes because I knew better. Yeah, these two third niggas, which represents my brother, gonna get beat, but they're not gonna get beat as worse because they didn't know better. You know? You see? So that's what Yahweh Shah is basically saying in this verse, Luke 12 and 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many strikes. So you take your hand off the plow, think you can just go out whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be beaten with many strikes, man. So let's uh let's go to um matter of fact, let's go to Matthews real quick. Matthews um chapter 13. I should like it, verse 24 and verse 13. It says, but he that should endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you got to endure in this thing, man. 
And to the end, you got to continue to keep doing the works to the end, man. Then you're going to be saved. Nobody is saved. You, just because you went out to the highways and byways, you know, a couple of times don't mean you saved, man. The, the scriptures say, but he that endure until the end should be saved. So you got to continue to do the Lord's work, man. You know, you got to continue to go out in the highways and byways. You know, you got to continue to push out these videos, man, because you got to feed the sheep, man. Right? And we're going to touch up on that later, man. It's like you. Yeah. I want to get an example right quick because you even had uh, niggas back then. Right? Let's go to Timothy real quick. You had niggas back then that uh, departed and went back into the world, man. They took their foot off the plow, man. Right? So let's go to 2 Timothy. Right? Chapter 4. And we're going to start at verse... We're going to start at verse 8. It says, Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. You see? There's a crown laid up for the elect. For uh, There's a crown, you know, laid up for the, the elect, man. A crown of righteousness, man. It says, Which the Lord, the righteous judge, should give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Verse 9, do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. So we're supposed to be doing our diligence, man, by going out to the highways and byways, doing the videos, right? Not slacking. Verse 10, the point. It says, for Demis have forsaken me, having loved this present world. So this nigga loved this, uh, this present world, man. He went back into the world. You see? This nigga went back into the world. He took his, uh, he took his foot off the plow. You see? It says, for the men have forsaken me, having loved this present world. This nigga loved the world. You see? It said, and it's departed into uh, Thess Thessalonica. And then it says, uh, Christians to Galatea, Titus, and to Dametia. But the point was, the men, he forsaken him, man. If I'm not mistaken, it was, um, I believe it was Paul he had forsaken. If I'm not mistaken, it was Paul he had forsaken. Or it was Timothy. But I believe it was Paul that he had forsaken. Right? So it says, um, for the men have forsaken me. So he had forsaken him, man. And went back into the damn world. You can't be, that's, he, he's a prime example not to be like, man. He went back into the world, man. You see? <clears throat> um, now, like I said, uh, let's get this uh, last one. We'll close it out. Because we're supposed to be out there going out to the highways and byways and feeding the sheep, you know? You Like, for example, you, you, you're not doing your videos and you're not going out to the highways and byways. You're not feeding the sheep. You can't just feed the sheep one day out the damn week, you know? You, 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 you feed the sheep one day out the week, hey, your sheep, <laughs> they're going to more than likely die. You know, you just feeding them one day out the week and that's just you going out. Yeah, yeah going out to the highways and byways is very important. But you also got to do your videos, man. You got to at least feed the sheep throughout the week. You can't just feed them on Saturday. You know that? Because that's the day we're going out to the highways and my way. You got to feed the sheep daily, man. Just about, man. You know, you got to feed and, and, and uh, give your uh, sheep water, man. So they can live. You know? So I want to get that with Peter, man. Because what did Peter, I mean, what did you have tell Peter? You know? Let's get that. We'll close it out. It's in the book of John. John 21. John 21. You know, because we we got to uh, feed the sheep, man. You know? um, We'll read down to verse 17. Hold on one second. It's like you. You know, you got to feed the sheep daily, man. You know, you can't just feed, like I said, you, you can't just feed the sheep one day out the damn week, man. You know, so this is the book of Luke. <clears throat> I'm just like, not Luke. John chapter 21, starting at verse 14. It says, this is not the third time that Yahweh showed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. So when he, <clears throat> it's like, so when they had uh, denied, Yahweh said, uh, so when they had denied, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? 
He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. You see? Verse 16. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved. So Peter like, man, what the hell is Yahweh shot? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fed up. Like, I just told you, Lord, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Showing that it's very important to feed the sheep, man. You, you you must feed the sheep, man. Not just one day out of the week. You know, you're supposed to leave. Hey, man, at least do, I want to say, four videos a week. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know. Now, we know some brothers can't, you know, don't know too many scriptures to really do videos every day. But at least feed the sheep four days out of the week, man. You know? So it says, um, he said unto him the third time, Simon, uh, son of Jonas, love is down me. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, love is down me. He said unto him, Lord, thou knowest that all things, it's like it, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, feed my sheep. So it's important. To feed the, the Lord's sheep, man. It's important to go out there into the highways and byways to feed the sheep. And not only that, by doing your videos, man, because you're also feeding the sheep that way as well, because you edifying, man. You know, you're giving them that food, man, the spiritual food. You feeding the sheep that spiritual food, man. You know? So you, you know, I try I try to do my videos every day, man. You know, I, I don't usually I miss one day out of the week. Sometimes twice, but I at least try to feed the sheep. You know, every day, man. You know, because first and foremost, you know, I, I how can I say this? I feel like, um, it, it kind of left me, man. Um, I feel like I gotta do videos every day to keep myself motivated. You know, because I feel like if I don't do enough, I feel like the Lord ain't dealing with me. You know, so I, I try to do videos every day if I can. You know, I, I hate when I miss a day because it, it just don't feel right in the spirit. You know, so you know the Lord, the Lord put it in my spirit to do these videos. So I'm gonna continue to push out and continue to feed the sheep. You know, going out, continue to go out to the highways and byways, and to continue, you know, to push out my videos, man, because it's important to feed the Lord's sheep, man. You, you can't be out here. You know, uh, 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 leaving the plow, man. You can't, you can't leave the plow as well, man. The plow is very important, man. Little little people know, man. You know, cause the Lord commanded us to go out to the highways and byways, man. You know, so hey, man. Lord willing, this video was edifying, and I'm gonna close it out with giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakadash. Shalom to the next time.